Hello guys, welcome to the 21st session of the SP.NET Web API 2. In a previous session, we are handled the cross domain access by using the JSONP. In this session, we are going to use the course. Course stands for Cross Origin Resource Sharing. Let's switch to the Visual Studio, our routing project. Stop the solution. I'm going to comment in the JSONP formatter support. For using the course, we need to add the uh, one more NuGet package. Open the NuGet. Search for the uh, course. Select the uh, microsoft.aspnet.webapi.course. Click on the install button. Click OK. Click Accept. Course was installed successfully. Now open the webapi.config file. Within that, we need to create the instance of the uh, enable course attribute. It was uh, present in the uh, different namespace, so we need to import course equal to new enable course attribute. Within parentheses, we need to specify the uh, origin that which we are going to allow. In the case of we are using the star means all. And the headers, again we are going to use a star. And a method also star that represent the all. We need to add that code into the our configuration. Therefore, write config dot enable course. And within the parenthesis, pass the our course object semicolon. Run the our solution. Open the our cross domain solution from which we are going to modify our data type to the JSON instead of JSONP. And switch to solution. Reload the our page. Click on the SO data. You can see that it was uh, retrieved successfully. In this example, we are using the star for the origin header as well as the uh, method. However, we can modify that such that it accept the only get method. For example, it was accessible on the uh, given URL. If the request sent to that, if the request sent to the our API from the uh, different origin, then it will be uh, not able to receive the uh, data. We are enable the uh, course from the uh, configuration, which make the enable course for the our entire controller or the uh, methods. We can also enable course at the uh, controller level. Let's for example comment the uh, both offline. However, we need to specify the enable code statement at the uh, configuration file. Write the uh, enable course, but we are not going to pass the uh, any instance and open the uh, our employee controller. At the uh, controller level, I am going to use the uh, enable course attribute, which was uh, present in different namespace. So add it, and within the parenthesis again, we need to specify the origin headers on the method. I am going to use the uh, star for all. Let's build the our solution. Let's switch to the our request page from the cross domain. And I'm going to click on the SO data. You can see that all the data are received successfully. In that example, the course was enabled for the all of the method within that controller. However, we can also disable the course for the any specific method within that controller. Let's switch to the our API project. Stop the execution. Let's uh, disable the uh, course for that our get employee method. For that, we need to write the uh, disable course and let's run it. Switch to the our uh, cross domain page, reload the uh, page, click on the uh, show data button. You can see that an error encounter message was occur and the uh, cross origin request block message on the uh, console.
just because of we are disabled here course for that get employee method For using course, we need to add the microsoft.aspnet.webapi.course from the NuGet and enable course in the webapi config.cs file that present in the app underscore start. For enabling the course for the all of the controller, for enabling the course for the all of the controller, then we need to use the instance of the course and, and pass it in the enable course method of the configuration. We can also enable the course at the controller lever as well as the disable course at the action lever. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubt, feel free to contact me.